So, 2020. That year. Well, let's just say it was a shit year for everyone. The coronavirus has made us isolate ourselves. Studying became all online. I personally couldn't have the enjoyable experience of my study courses last year. The lockdowns cancelled holidays. Michael Angelis passed away. Sean Connery is gone. Mel Winkler died. Our fellow Black Panther died in his battle of cancer. The Game of the Year award was awarded to the controversial game that was The Last of Us Part 2 instead of games that I believe should have. Plus, Netflix exposed us to a pretty grossly pornographic kids coming of age story, Cuties. Despite all that, there were several things that I did in 2020 that were positive. I did a response to Bryce Gum's review of Panicky Percy, I read the Dr. Seuss books for you, I became an official fan of Phoenix Wright, I defended the Inspector Gadget reboot, I've reached 2,000 subscribers thanks to you guys, I've opened my own Twitter account, I've been writing episodes for Daniel Alsop, and managed to collaborate with other YouTubers on projects, which, speaking of which, I'll be showcasing some project ideas that I'll be doing for 2021 and onwards. But before I present them, thanks for all the praise I was given in my 2,000 subscriber video. I'm glad to have such loyal followers like you. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. For first, I'll be finalizing some unfinished projects from last year. Two, I'll continue production of crowd favorites like Ian the Ice Cube. Plus, there will be a few surprises along the way. Three, for those people who follow me on DeviantArt, I recently posted a rewrite of Big World Big Adventures. And what made me want to do this rewrite? Two words, Trevor Davis. And when I saw his video reviewing all the Thomas movies, he gave out his thoughts on the Big World Big Adventures movie, saying that it's a mixed bag, and that it had potential of being good, and I agree with him. So he inspired my idea of doing a rewrite of Big World Big Adventures. Not to give away spoilers, I'll tell you a few changes. I've given Thomas a much better and logical reason as to why he'd travel around the world. I adapted the characters so they would have more development and kept them consistent with the show's representation. Now that I finished it, I will either have the rewrite be an audio drama, like my fanfic readings, or I can do the video with my drawings and do them similar to my Dr. Seuss readings that I did last year. What would you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and read my rewrite in the description below. 4. I'll also be working on this as a way of celebrating the 15th anniversary of Yo Gabba Gabba. And finally, even though it's been a big talking point, I still want to give my review of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I've been working on the script since October last year, however I lost sight of the project, but now it's back in the works as we speak. I'd love to do some other videos, but I'll keep them as a surprise. So stay tuned, this is Elephant TV, signing off.